The color machine enabled Bob's Candies to crank out as many as 1.8 million candy canes a day, all year long, and to dominate candy cane sales from the 1950s through the late 1980s. After researching Father Keller's inventions, I have two takeaways. First, anyone can be an inventor. Father Keller wasn't an engineer, he wasn't a candy maker, he didn't own a business. He invented these two candy cane machines because he was curious. Because he loved to tinker and he wanted to find out if he could fashion a way to solve the problem presented by his brother-in-law. Father Keller found a problem and then found a solution after much trial and error. Inventors like Father Keller ask questions and then answer them. If it had not been candy canes, I'm sure it would have been something else. Tinkerers, and you know who you are, can't help but see problems begging for a solution. That's their superpower. Nurture that instinct. If you are a tinkerer, a fixer, that's a gift, and it should be treated as such. The second takeaway is that patent money isn't just for personal enrichment. Uh, sure, patent holders can turn a profit, if you're lucky, a huge one. But money from patents can also be used to improve someone else's life. Father Keller gave huge amounts of money from his invention to charity. Candy canes made the world sweeter, not just literally, but also figuratively.